All right, what's up, everyone? We're going to be making a base for days off just because he did reach out to me. We were uh, doing a couple of the volcano missions, so I went ahead and uh, pretty much talked to him a bit, and he was like, he needed a little bit of assistance making a base. So we're going to go ahead and see exactly if I'm going to be able to make a suitable base for him just by looking at his resources. I think we might be able to make a decent one. Yeah, he has about 3.7k blocks, and for his turrets... He doesn't exactly have too many uh, limited turrets. I don't see any bunkers here. I don't see any cave turrets, but I think this should be an interesting build overall. So let's go ahead and get started um, just by looking at what he has. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I have an idea of what I'm going to make for him. Let's see how many shields he has. He has 45. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and start in the middle right here. And then from that, we're going to go about seven blocks. Uh to each corner so that's three four five six seven and on the seventh one we're gonna make a two by two yeah we're gonna make a two by two and then we're just gonna work our way from there uh and i think another thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna do a couple of them so i'm gonna go seven out once seven out twice one two three four five six seven and we're gonna make these into like pillars this is gonna be our base our foundation right here so right now it's gonna be a pretty much a an easy build in my opinion. Uh, he has a couple legendaries. Yeah, he has two legendaries right here and two here. So I think from this point on, we're just going to go ahead and start building uh, whatever we can. Try to make it a little bit more accessible and a little bit easier. Let's see. Actually, yeah. We'll go ahead and do this. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing for the space. We are going to add some different uh, blocks. We're going to use some marble as well. I think marble would just be a great addition. You know what? I actually might. I might actually do it like this. Just make marble in the middle and then just keep the other outsides just the way it is. All right. So for right now, this is what we have structured right here. As you guys can see, I got some regular Tesla turrets and two killer turrets on each side. He doesn't exactly have too many of either or so there are going to be a couple of locations where there's not going to be any teslas or like you see on this side and this side there's not going to be any killers and due to the fact that he doesn't exactly have too many of them we're just going to go ahead and leave it like this when he grinds more he's going to be able to place more he wants um and i think we're just going to continue going from there i think i'm going to go ahead and block this one off right here though so then we're going to go ahead and just have a nice little block i'll make it into like a, a probably a, a three by three I gotta delete a couple from the top though. And then we're gonna continue working on the sides as well. All right, so as of right now, I did add a couple of uh, floating blocks right here, two by two. Um, and we're pretty much gonna go ahead and add a couple of shield generators here just because of why not. I think it'd probably be like a great little thing to add. He doesn't exactly have too many, so I, I just gotta figure out how many I'm gonna put. Uh, right now we have, what is this, five? I think for right now, I'm gonna put five on here. And then from there, five. Yeah, five should be enough. I could add six if I really wanted to. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and add seven instead. Just make it a nice lucky number. All right, so as of right now, we just uh, finished putting up some shield generators. We're doing it seven up on each side and we have it on four sides. And I think as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of marble as well since the middle of it is pretty much uh, marble. We have obsidian. I'm just going to keep it that kind of design. Just go ahead and complement it. A nice little white with some purple. I think it'd be a good design. And pretty much right here, what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to be connecting these up. So if the shield generators end up falling, they won't like tip over completely. And so pretty much this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of box it in a bit. So it doesn't exactly fall. Once I get higher, I'm definitely going to make it look like a little bit more of a box. But for right now, I just don't want the turrets to get blocked off or anything. And so as of right now, we're going to have this like little square design here in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and try to top it off with some more marble. Pretty much extending from the middle of it, going all the way to the end right here. Just go ahead and give it that nice little like couple squares in the middle. We're going to have like kind of four squares in the middle. And I might actually add a couple more shield generators, kind of still debating about it. Um, main reason why I'm kind of still debating about it is because I don't exactly know if he wants to make this for a private server or if he wants to make it for a public. If it's public, I can only add a certain amount of turrets. I can only do 200 and the maximum blocks that I could have on there is about, uh, I think it's 10,000. 
But if he wants it for a private, then I could definitely expand a little bit more. But I think for right now, we're just going to be doing this. Let me see if I have any... Let's see. We're going to go ahead and add kind of like a little tip to this as well. Let's try to figure out. Here they are. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go ahead and add some obsidian blocks with the tip on it. So there's one, two, three, and four. Perfect. Give that nice little design. I think as of right now, I'm going to start working on this design over here too. So we're going to go up. Let's see. We want to have this about 10 high. So let's go. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the reason why we have this 10 high is because we're going to add a couple more turrets here. I want to say I'm going to add probably rocket turrets because he does have a lot of rockets. So I think rockets are going to be like the best solution that we have here. He does have a lot of these and a lot of these as well. So I kind of want to use those as well. Um, yeah, I think rockets for right now. I think we're going to use the summer turrets. Definitely we're going to have to use these uh, lava turrets as well. It really does suck that he doesn't have bunker though. That's the only problem. He has one pumpkin turret. That's actually surprising, just having one. I've never seen a person just have one with limited turrets. That's pretty, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. All right, so now we pretty much have our blocks here. It's uh, pretty much 10 uh, up. So it's gonna be a, a two by two, but it's like 10 going up. So that's exactly what we're looking at right now. Or technically it's a one by two. It's, it's pretty much a square. So that's pretty much it right there. And we went up 10 blocks just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I think as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some more blocks here. And we're going to go ahead and make these about, let's make it, let's see. I think it will be fine if we keep it at two. Keep it at two for each one. So, so pretty much we're building on the third block. So we're going to have two on the bottom, just in case there's some projectiles, be able to block it. Or at least not do as much damage as it's on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and kind of like, for it. Or not for it, um, what's the word? Pretty much you're going to make them into angles and you're going to make another like square here on each one. So pretty much that's what we're going to be doing for right now. Trying to make it a little bit more simple and more uh, easy to do. And so this is what it's going to look like overall. We're going to have this on each side. However, uh, we are going to add a little bit more to it. And pretty much this is all we're going to add. We're going to add some to the outskirts of it. So it's going to look a little bit something like this on all sides. But yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to end up looking like. Kind of as if like the build is kind of like extending a little bit more out. So that's exactly what we want to do. So it's going to be like we're going to have a couple squares in the middle. And then we're gonna have a couple more like little ledges on the side as well, just to give it that nice little detailed design. And that's exactly what it's gonna look like. All right, so as of right now, we just finished it. Uh, took a little while to do it, unfortunately, but we finally finished it. And so as of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these turrets where uh, they should be going. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some rockets here just to have them. And I think I'm gonna add some to the top as well just because I think I'd rather just have them all over uh, the top. And I'm gonna leave them on the outskirts as well, like on these little platforms right here on the corners, just because it might just be better. Actually, I'll keep them on the corners right here and I'll add some other turrets there because I feel like rockets are very great at long distance and I just feel like these would probably be better for me to just keep here on the top row. They could definitely shoot a lot farther than any other one that I could think of. But yeah, so this is what we're pretty much going to do. After that, I'm going to add some other turrets as well. I'm definitely thinking about adding some um, regular cannon turrets down here as well. And we're going to put some event turrets on the first floor as well. Basically, the first floor is going to be more event stuff. Second floor is going to be more like common stuff. And third floor is going to be more long range kind of stuff. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Well, this is what we have. So pretty much we did add the pretty much limited edition turrets on the bottom floor. Top floor is going to be um, just kind of the regular turrets that we get from uh, regular chests. Well, not really regular chests, but like kind of the mid-tier chests, and then on the top and on the corners of them, we also have the rocket turrets. So this is what the build looks like so far as of right now. I'm still gonna add a little bit more to it, just because why not? He has the materials, might as well do what I can. So let's go ahead and continue to do what we need to do. 
All right, so as you guys can kind of see here, we have this kind of weird marble thing with some spikes on there, and it's not exactly connected to the building, so it's probably going to fall. And for you guys that don't know, uh, I like to make traps that are kind of creative. So, like, when we start the wave, this will automatically fall for the, to the floor, and then it'll be, like, the first line of defense. And in case of a zombie does have, like, a speed ability, it's just going to run straight into the spikes and potentially damage itself. So that's pretty much what we're doing right there as well. And, um... I'm thinking about adding a little bit more stuff. He does have a couple more turrets that I am interested in. He does have a couple rares and he still has a lot more of the rocket turrets that I kind of want to continue to use. So right now we're just going to focus more on the rockets, I think. And then from there, we're just going to see where we go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add our rockets to the four pillars we put on the outside. These pillars are not going to be connected to the main build at all. This is pretty much going to be um, a cannon fodder build. And what I mean by cannon fodder is that this isn't meant to last long. This is actually meant to be destroyed eventually. So that's what we're pretty much doing is just leaving a little bit of stuff here that will eventually get destroyed over time. And in hopes that this will actually prevent the main build from getting destroyed as well. So that's pretty much why we just built these on the side. All right, and another thing that we're going to be adding to the sides of the bases as well. Another thing that's pretty much going to be, I guess you could say it's semi-cannon fodder, but I don't exactly think that this is actually going to fall to the floor. But we're pretty much going to add these to each of the corners. Um, and on top of that too, we're going to add a couple more turrets on the bottom as well. But for these turrets, we're going to try to have them like right under the build. And so this is pretty much what it's going to end up looking like towards the end each side is going to look like this and the reason why we're doing it this way and we're putting extra turrets on the bottom is just because we just want cannon fodder yet again the one turrets on the bottom are definitely going to be taking a lot of uh damage and hopefully take a lot of heat off the main build and the ones on top like our little plasma here and the ones up here if everything goes according to plan it shouldn't fall so once this like pillar falls completely and it gets destroyed it should still stay airborne Fingers crossed it does. I can't exactly 100% say for certain that it's going to stay, but I'm pretty confident like when this gets destroyed right here, like this right here, this should still fly. So that's going to be there for probably like mid late game. If um, he does not shoot the ballistas down, he does not destroy anything that pretty much can shoot at a high angle, then unfortunately it's going to come down to the worst. So fingers crossed it goes well, not 100% sure. But yeah, we'll just see. So as of right now, I have finished all four corners of the build. And I'm just going to go ahead and look at what we have left here. We actually have a lot of stuff left. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit tired. It is currently 12, 13 a.m. as I'm making this video. And to be fair, he hasn't moved in a bit. I think he might uh, be AFK. I haven't seen him move in a while. So I'm kind of hoping that this does save for him. Fingers crossed it does. And I'm trying to figure out what would I want to put here. Oh, there's not really much I can put. These would be a nice little addition. Let's see. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I'll just add a little bit more if anything. Let's see. I'm going to try to make this even right here. I'm going to spread a little bit. I'm going to keep it like two. I'll do it that way. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So what we're gonna do I'm gonna go run this way and I'm gonna try to add maybe a couple things here let's go like all right so that pretty much concludes what I've done so far um, I went ahead and did this on all four sides as, as everywhere else and I also added this little trap right here as well just because I was like if I have one up there I might as well make another one just in case I was kind of thinking about putting one in the front entrance too but I was like Probably not a good idea just because the front's going to have a lot of damage and due to the fact that some uh, zombies do do splash damage, it might actually spread to the turrets in front. Did it in the back because realistically, if we have like a chunk right here knocked out, at least the turrets behind could go ahead and shoot. So, well, this is pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a bird's eye view so you guys can have an understanding of what it looks like. So here we are. Three, two, one, go. Here we are. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like overall. Now that we're done, I could actually put a couple more stuff in the middle. Just to make it kind of look a little bit more nicer. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm looks like I'm actually stuck inside the block. That's great. 
<laughs> Alright guys, well, thank you guys so much for watching, really do appreciate it. The build took an hour, 22 minutes, and 45 seconds, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely guys, thank you so much for watching, if you made it this far, appreciate it. And if you guys need help with the base design, just let me know, hit me up, and I'll go ahead and try to help you guys out. Or if anything, I could just make the base for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and cheers, I'll see you guys next time.